you. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild fear. Becoming an adult is an important... Fear is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up children has matured into a young adult. Becoming an adult is an important... Alright, let's do this. The suddenly darker, the wind hastens, and rain pours down from above. You see a giant surrounded by... The giant can't hear you, and the... Most of the rocks you throw bounce off without effect, but one go... You little creature, say you. I sense you have met... Oh, this dull... Where's my fucking group? You stumble across some ruin. You search the You search the buildings and discover a supply store still intact. You see the skies darken and the air getting heavy. The wind picks up and thunder strikes. You realize very quickly that you must have stumbled upon a territory claimed by the wind. The wind calms down and the skies brighten once more. The villi remain. Sweet getting there. Social. Ooh. You got a pokey. Yeah, have that. See if we can make you a little more alluring. I don't think range damage.
Let's see, where is their scaled leather? All the way the hell up there. Levels. Sweet, sweet stuff. Ooh, I can go try to try and take out this babble dragon. Make an infinite amount of them. Sweat. You are free to loot whatever they carry. I don't want you. You travel through the hills in search of resources, and you come across the room. The two orcs speak together, and the orc woman frowns. The conversation goes inside the vault. You share the spoils and sit by the fire with the orcs. There is an awkward distance between the groups, but it is certainly progress. The woman nods in agreement. And sometimes they give you an orc. Oh, 
Um, You approach the mound of rubble that used to be the Great Vervelian Castle, a landmark and seat of power before the darkness. The mound that remains in its stead is so tall. The man smiles at you and shows you some sturdy boots. Well, as you can see, I am a cobbler. Needler, they call me, and I'll travel theater making and selling exquisite, custom-made designer footwear. I also deal with dragon infestations, so you see, this site is actually perfect for my business. So, which one are you here for? Ah, oh, the dragon. Well, as advertised, I will take care of the dragon problem for you, or at least help you do it for a price. Well, okay, so I'm not counting on an actual princess. Times are tough, I know. I just need me a virgin female. Well, that's my business, really, ain't it? But since you ask, I am looking for a wife, and since I'm a cobbler, I'm looking to marry up. I ain't telling you what my secret is, obviously, but I'll tell you this much. I know the dragon's weakness, and I will use it. You will bring me the stuff I need. I will make something, and all you have to do then is sneak up and place the thing in the dragon's path. Easy for you hero types. Duh, because I ain't working for free. I'm not the dragon's type. He hasn't eaten meat yet, so I'm not bothered. But if I could get what I want, then good. We already said she doesn't need to be all that, well, princess-like. Look, just get me 40 wood and 10 straw. I will do the rest, and I'm sure you have a lovely lass you can pay me with. I hear the dragon only gets hungrier with time. Soon it won't be just... Do I have 10 straw? I hope I have wicker. Alright, back to town to get straw. You see the skies darken and the air getting heavy. The wind you realize very quick. The wind calms down and the skies move. <coughs> you are outrushed. A group of thugs stands in your way, bearing weapons and vile grins on their unshaped. You've got a pretty face and sweet talking tongue on you, so why not try and you, you flex your muscles? You sweet talk to the bandit captain so well, they are absolutely besotted with you. The ruffian kneels down before you and swears their love, as a token of their undying affection. Oops. 